Principe Governor Nestor Espinilla Jr. assures that the domestic banking sector remains strong even as another bank is on the spotlight for alleged fraud by one of its ranking officials. The suspect was identified as Metrobank Vice President Maria Victoria Lopez. Espinilla said the BSP already has a team that is looking into the case. The suspect was arrested by NBI agents last July 17th. Suspect Maria Victoria Maravic Lopez faces charges of qualified theft and falsification in violation of general banking law. This was after Lopez, an official of a large bank, Metro Bank, was arrested by the National Bureau of Investigation. According to NBI, Lopez forged signatures and breached bank protocols for a check amounting to 2.25 million be released in favor of a certain individual. Banco Central ng Pilipinas or BSP is now examining the incident on the said bank. Our concern is on bank supervision matters. Our banks have uh, their natural internal controls uh, 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 precisely to prevent these things uh, from happening. So we will have to uh, look into the adequacy of those controls. In a statement, Metro Bank says that it immediately caused the arrest of the suspect upon its own discovery. It adds that protection of its customers is the main priority. Meanwhile, no customer has been affected by the incident, and it is business as usual in Metro Bank. Meanwhile, BSP trusts that Metro Bank will fix and overcome this particular incident. Uh, these things uh, happen, uh, they're isolated, and banks have, uh, as I, that's why banks are well capitalized, that's why uh, banks have control so that uh, these kinds of things can be mitigated and uh, withstood. Uh, no system is perfect, but uh, the bank is expected to be resilient to these things. And this is a large bank. The, uh, it made more than $16 billion last year. So, I mean, it's, um, this is very unfortunate, but they have to deal with it. Diane Kerrer for The Nation.